Rigoberta Menchu Tum, Spanish, Rio Beta Ida Men Tu, born the 9th of January 1959, is a Quiche political and human rights activist from Guatemala. Menchu has dedicated her life to publicizing the rights of Guatemala's indigenous feminists during and after the Guatemalan Civil War (1960–1996) and to promoting indigenous rights in the country. She received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1992 and the Prince of Asturias Award in 1998. She is the subject of the testimonial biography I, Rigoberta Menchu and the author of the autobiographical work, Crossing Borders. Menchu is a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador. She has also become a figure in indigenous political parties and ran for President of Guatemala in 2007 and 2011. Personal life Rigoberta Menchu was born to a poor indigenous family of Quech Maya descent in Laj Shimal, a peasant hamlet in the north-central Guatemalan province of El Quiche. Menchu received a primary and middle school education as a student at several Catholic boarding schools. In 1981, Menchu was exiled and escaped to Mexico. She found refuge in the home of a Catholic bishop in Chiapas. In 1995, Menchu married Ángel Canel, a Guatemalan. They have a son, Mash Nahul J. Spirit of Water. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Activism. After leaving school, Menchu worked as an activist campaigning against human rights violations committed by the Guatemalan armed forces during the country's civil war, which lasted from 1960 to 1996. In 1979–80 her brother Patrocinio and her mother Juana were kidnapped, tortured and murdered by the Guatemalan army. Her father Vicente died in the 1980 burning of the Spanish embassy, which occurred after urban guerrillas took hostages and were attacked by government security forces. In 1984 her brother Victor was shot to death after he surrendered to the army, was threatened by soldiers, and tried to escape. While in exile in Mexico, Menchu continued to organize resistance to oppression in Guatemala and the struggle for indigenous rights by co-founding the United Republic of Guatemalan opposition. Tens of thousands of people, mostly Mayan Indians, fled to Mexico from 1982 to 1984 at the height of Guatemala's 36 year civil war. In 1982, she narrated a book about her life, titled Mi llamo Rigoberta Menchu y así mi nació la conciencia, My Name is Rigoberta Menchu, and This is How My Conscience Was Born, to Venezuelan author and anthropologist Elizabeth Burgos, which was translated into five other languages including English and French. The book made her an international icon at the time of the ongoing conflict in Guatemala. Since the Guatemalan Civil War ended, Menchu has campaigned to have Guatemalan political and military establishment members tried in Spanish courts. In 1999, she filed a complaint before a court in Spain because prosecutions of crimes committed during the Civil War are practically impossible in Guatemala. These attempts stalled as the Spanish courts determined that the plaintiffs had not yet exhausted all possibility of seeking justice through the legal system of Guatemala. On December 23, 2006, Spain called for the extradition from Guatemala of seven former members of Guatemala's government on charges of genocide and torture. These include former military rulers Efrain Rios Mont and Oscar Mejia. Spain's highest court ruled that cases of genocide committed abroad could be judged in Spain, even if no Spanish citizens were involved. In addition to the deaths of Spanish citizens, the most serious charges include genocide against the Maya people of Guatemala. In January 2015, a Guatemalan court convicted the commander of a former police investigations unit of murder, attempted murder and crimes against humanity for his role in the embassy attack, in which Menchu's father died. Menchu has become involved in the Indian pharmaceutical industry as president of Salud para Todos, Health for All, and the company Pharmacias Similares, with the goal of offering low-cost generic medicines. She served as Presidential Goodwill Ambassador for the 1996 Peace Accords in Guatemala. That same year she received the Peace Abbey Courage of Conscience Award in Boston. In 2006, Menchu was one of the founders of the Nobel Women's Initiative along with sister Nobel Peace laureates Jody Williams, Shirin Abadi, Wangari Mathai, Betty Williams and Mairead Corrigan Maguire. Six women representing North America, South America, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa decided to bring together their experiences in a united effort for peace, justice and equality. 
It is the goal of the Nobel Women's Initiative to help strengthen women's rights around the world. Menchu is a member of PeaceJam, an organization whose mission is to create young leaders committed to positive change in themselves, their communities and the world through the inspiration of Nobel Peace laureates who pass on the spirit, skills, and wisdom they embody." She travels around the world speaking to youth through PeaceJam conferences. She is also a member of the Fondation Chirac's Honor Committee, ever since the foundation was launched in 2008 by former French President Jacques Chirac in order to promote world peace. Politics On February 12, 2007, Menchu announced that she would form an indigenous political party called Encuentro por Guatemala and that she would stand in the 2007 presidential election. Had she been elected, she would have become Latin America's fourth indigenous president after Mexico's Benito Juárez, Peru's Alejandro Toledo and Bolivia's Evo Morales. In the election, Menchu was defeated in the first round, receiving 3% of the vote. After the elections, Rigoberta Menchu gave a message of peace to all Guatemalans on television. In 2009, she was involved in the newly founded party Winac. Menchu was a candidate for the 2011 presidential election, but lost in the first round, winning 3% of the vote again. Topic: <laughs> Awards. 1992 Nobel Peace Prize, in recognition of her work for social justice and ethno-cultural reconciliation based on respect for the rights of indigenous peoples. 1998 Prince of Asturias Prize for improving the condition of women and the communities they serve, jointly with six other women. 2010 Order of the Aztec Eagle Topic. Controversies about her testimony More than a decade after the publication of I, Rigoberta Menchu, anthropologist David Stoll investigated Menchu's story, researching government documents, reports, and land claims many filed by Menchu's own family, and interviewing former neighbors, locals, friends, enemies, and others for his 1999 book Rigoberta Menchu and the Story of All Poor Guatemalans. Stoll claimed Menchu changed some elements of her life, family and village to meet the publicity needs of the guerrilla movement, which she joined as a political comadre after her parents were assassinated. The controversy caused by Stahl's book received widespread coverage in the U.S. press of the time. Historian Greg Grandin claims Stahl's research on the Guatemalan Revolution is mostly wrong, but states that, Two of Stahl's charges concerning Menchu's life do have merit. First, he documents that she received some education, contradicting a claim that her father refused to send her to school because he did not want her to lose her cultural identity. Second, Stoll presents evidence that Menchu falsely placed herself at the scene of her 16-year-old brother's murder. According to Grandin, Stoll in a later interview agreed to the essential factuality of Menchu's account of how her brother and mother died. In her own critique of Stoll's work, titled The Silencing of Maya Women from Mama Makin to Rigoberta Menchu, anthropologist Victoria Sanford highlights inaccuracies in Stoll's book and claims that he used highly questionable sources as research informants. The Nobel Committee dismissed calls to revoke her Nobel Prize, rejecting the claims of falsification by Stoll. Gare Lundestad, the secretary of the committee, said her prize was not based exclusively or primarily on the autobiography. According to the Nobel Committee, Stoll approves of her Nobel Prize and has no question about the picture of army atrocities which she presents. He says that her purpose in telling her story the way she did enabled her to focus international condemnation on an institution that deserved it, the Guatemalan Army. Topic see also List of civil rights leaders List of peace activists List of female Nobel laureates Topic References Topic Bibliography Amant, Gail. Recent Maya Incursions into Guatemalan Literary Historiography. Literary Cultures of Latin America, A Comparative History. E. D.'s, Mario J. Valdez and Dejelil Cotter, 3 vols. Volume 1, Configurations of Literary Culture. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2004, I, 216-215. Arias, Arturo. After the Rigoberta Menchu Controversy, Lessons Learned About the Nature of Subalternity and the Specifics of the Indigenous Subject MLN 117.2, 2002, 481-505. Beverly, John. 
The Real Thing R. Rigoberta, Modern Language Quarterly 57 2, June 1996, 129 235. Britain, Alice A. Close Encounters of the Third World Kind, Rigoberta Menchu and Elizabeth Burgos's Me Yamo Rigoberta Menchu. Latin American Perspectives, Vol. 22, No. 4, Redefining Democracy, Cuba and Chiapas Autumn, 1995, pp. 100–114. De Valdez, Maria Elena. The Discourse of the Other, Testimonio and the Fiction of the Maya, Bulletin of Hispanic Studies Liverpool, LXXIII 1996, 79–90. Feel, Rosemary Geisdorfer. Women Writers into the Mainstream, Contemporary Latin American Narrative. Philosophy and Literature in Latin America. E. Dees, Jorge J. E. Gracia and Maria Camarati. New York, State University of New York, 1989. An Overview of Women in Contemporary Latin American Letters. Golden, Tim. Guatemalan Indian Wins the Nobel Peace Prize, New York Times, 17 October 1992, p. A1, A5. Golden, Tim. Guatemalan to Fight on with Nobel as Trumpet. New York Times, 19 October 1992, p. A5. Gossen, Gary H. Rigoberta Menchu and Her Epic Narrative. Latin American Perspectives, Vol. 26, No. 6, If Truth Be Told, A Forum on David Stahl's, Rigoberta Menchu and the Story of All Poor Guatemalans, November, 1999, pp. 64-69. Gray Diaz, Nancy, Indian Women Writers of Spanish America, Spanish American Women Writers, A Bio-Bibliographical Source Book, ed. Diane E. Martin. New York, Greenwood Press, 1988 Malay, Amy Noss. Voices from the Fuente Viva, The Effect of Orality in Twentieth-Century Spanish-American Narrative. Lewisburg, Bucknell University Press, 2005. Logan, Kathleen. Personal Testimony, Latin American Women Telling Their Lives. Latin American Research Review 32.1 199-211. Review Essay. Nellen, Bruce W. Striking Against Racism. Time 140-61 the 26th of October 1992, p. 61. Stanford, Victoria. Between Rigoberta Menchu and La Violencia, Deconstructing David Stahl's History of Guatemala. Latin American Perspectives 26.6, If Truth Be Told, A Forum on David Stahl's. Rigoberta Menchu and the Story of All Poor Guatemalans. November, 1999, pp. 38-46. From I, Rigoberta to the Commissioning of Truth Maya Women and the Reshaping of Guatemalan History. Cultural Critique 47-2001-16-53. Summer, Doris. Rigoberta's Secrets. Latin American Perspectives, Vol. 18, No. 3, Voices of the Voiceless in Testimonial Literature, Part 1 Summer, 1991, pp. 32-50. Stoll, David. Rigoberta Menchu and the Story of All Poor Guatemalans. Westview Press, 1999. Slaps and Embraces, A Rhetoric of Particularism. The Latin American Subaltern Studies Reader. Ed. Ileana Rodriguez. Durham, Duke University Press, 2001. Ward, Thomas. La Resistencia Cultural, La Nación en el Enseo de las Americas. Lima, Universidad Ricardo Palma, 2004-285-302. Wise, R. Todd. Native American Testimonio, The Shared Vision of Black Elk and Rigoberta Menchu. In Christianity and Literature, Vol. 45, Issue No. 1, Autumn 1995. Zimmerman, Mark. Rigoberta Menchu After the Nobel, From Militant Narrative to Postmodern Politics. The Latin American Subaltern Studies Reader. Durham, Duke University Press, 2001. Topic. External links Biography at the official Nobel site Nobel Peace Prize Lecture Salon.com, Rigoberta Menchu meets the press. Peace Prize winner admits discrepancies. AP Story in New York Times, 12 February 1999 Subscription only.
Spain may judge Guatemala abuses. BBC News, the 5th of October 2005. Liar, Rigoberta Menchu, by Dinesh D'Souza, Boundless Webzine, 1999. Anthropologist challenges veracity of multicultural icon. The Chronicle of Higher Education, subscription only. Rigoberta Menchu at UMass Boston, on YouTube. Sound recording of Elizabeth Burgos de Bray interviewing Rigoberta Menchu. Appearances on C-SPAN. <laughs>